So this is the point that the dough needs to go in the fridge if you want to use it in about two, three hours or tonight. First of all, using the Polish, it's fast because now you don't gonna wait six hours to eight hours. 400 milligrams of water, four balls. 500 milligrams of water, five balls. This is how you calculate the, the, using the cold water here and the cold Polish, will, that will slow down the, uh, the fermentation process. So what I can tell you is that you can control the fermentation time. Basically, if you do this, you see it's full of air and it's light. Ta -da 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 -da. Hello guys from Maestro Vitio Copelli and welcome back to my channel. First of all, if you're new, consider it to subscribe if you are a pizza lover because this channel is no secret about making the best pizza at home and for business, a lot of tips. So go ahead, subscribe. Let's start right away to get, boom, my Polish. There we go, nice and fermented, 24 hours. Guys, today this video is going to be very technical, a lot of tips, a lot of information. So pay attention, sit down and watch the video until the end. Thank you so much for the support, smash the like and share with three friends. It's totally free. We are going to make the dough, of course. Like you can see, everything is here. And today I'm going to explain how to calculate how much yeast or polish we need for the dough. So I'm going to explain everything about fermentation. So get ready. Come to the best pizza channel. So today we are going to talk about how to calculate how much yeast or how much Polish or bigger we need to make the dough. Uh, we're, gonna, uh, we're gonna talk about uh, uh, the temperature, we're going to talk about uh, the water, uh, the Polish, like you can see, I just take it out from the fridge. So that means, yes, yes, you can use the Polish just right away from the fridge. So don't worry about that, because some people are asking, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take the Polish out from the fridge one hour before, well, you don't have to, you can use it right away. Uh, another thing today, I'm going to explain uh, when is the correct point of fermentation to use the dough. When is the right uh, timing to use the dough, right point of fermentation. That's how it is. So guys, like you can see here, we have uh, the usual recipe, 300 milligrams of water, 300 grams of flour, five grams of yeast, and five grams of honey. So let's start to say, I'm gonna go by a question, this way you guys can understand. Why the yeast never change? Well, the yeast never change because the yeast, when it melts in the water, basically it, multi it multiplies the cells in the water, so you don't have to put more or less. Every five liter water, the yeast will change, will increase double. So if you're using zero to five liters, it's five grams of yeast. A five liters to 10 liters is 10 grams of yeast. So that means that the increase of the amount of the water, we increase the yeast. But uh, what zero to five liters, it's always good to use five grams. And don't worry about uh, if you're thinking, well, if I put only five grams, it's not gonna raise. Yes, it's going to raise if you're going to give the right fermentation. So let's start to say, when you're going to mix water with yeast, basically, you have to wait one hour to two hours, depends on the room temperature, to activate the process of leavening. Okay, so zero, uh, you need to mix the water with the yeast and then the flour, and then you have to wait one hour to two hours. You're going to see the process that is going to be double up because the yeast is gonna start to uh, eat the, the, the flour, basically, I'm gonna explain to you very easy, and then that process one hour to two hours is gonna grow. And then you're gonna put it in the fridge and block it. After 16 to 24 hours, we have the polish. Okay, now, how much amount, how much amount we need uh, for the dough? And then how you calculate the amount of uh, uh, yeast or uh, polish you put in the dough? This is very easy to answer and then you're going to, you're going to understand right away. Let's say like this. So the more Polish, you put, the more percentage of Polish you put, the faster will grow. So let's say I want to do 100% of Polish. Basically, 100%, that means that you're going to add just the rest of the flour, the salt and the olive oil. 
And this is 100%. 100% that means it's gonna grow in one hour, but always if the room temperature is really around uh, 80, 75 uh, Fahrenheit. So today it's hot, guys. Outside is hot. If you're gonna use 30% of Polish, the dough will take around two hours to three hours. If you're gonna use 50%, it's gonna take around one hour and a half to two hours. But this is always change because the timing, uh, the, the, the temperature is always different from uh, everybody, everybody in the world. So that's why I cannot calculate exactly time. So what I can tell you is that you can control the fermentation timing, so the, the grow timing. So you can control that. And today we are going to uh, understand that. Uh, so first of all, I put, I'm going to make my usual recipe. So this is a total of 600 grams of uh, Polish, 100 milligrams of water. I'm going to put it inside and then I'm going to explain it to you uh, in the meantime that I'm making the dough. So I'm going to melt the water in the Polish. So uh, guys, this is basically uh, a very easy recipe and it will grow in about one hour, one hour and 30 minutes with this uh, temperature outside is about, again, 80 today, so it's hot. So there we go. So now I'm gonna add the salt. Voila. Melt the salt. There we go. Now we can start to work the dough in a, a box like this or just a bowl, whatever you have at your house. So let's go ahead and let's add the polish in the, uh, our mud, yeah? By the way, if you are in Europe, these are available on my website, link below. And then if you, in the United States, the United States are coming. So here you go, we have the polish in the, uh, in the box. So now we're gonna go ahead and make in the dough. If you have any question, please comment below. I will reply to you. There we go. So now we put the, the water. So let's get back to the Polish outside the fridge. Why I'm gonna use it right away? Because it's hot. Because it's hot, I like to use the cold water. So the, using the cold water here and the cold Polish will then will slow down the uh, the fermentation process and your dough is not gonna uh, is not gonna explode but uh, wait because uh, in a little bit when we're going to make the balls I will explain to you how to slow down even more than that because if you see every hour you have to check out the dough if it's, uh, if it's growing if it's growing properly or if it's growing too fast so basically here we're gonna make the dough and uh, when everything is all together the flour and uh, with the polish and everything we can start to work the dough in the basically in the counter my, you might you might ask why why, why you are you using uh, a wood box to make the dough well old uh, my grandfather and uh, old school in old school basically <laughs> old pizza places my grandfather, my father, they used to use containers of wood even to put the dough balls. That means, that's why, because to, uh, basically for the humidity. Because those, those boxes here, they absorb the humidity. That's why it's good. But here you don't have to have it. And uh, it's not something that is really, really important. So there we go, the dough is ready, and now we can go ahead and work the dough in the counter. So clean up everything, and guys, if you touch it, the dough, it's cold. That's a good sign that it's cold, because the dough, you don't want the dough to uh, get warm, otherwise that's a mistake. So never use warm water. Warm water will speed up the process of uh, of fermentation and guys trust me you don't want to you don't want to speed up the dough process because uh, it's very important to give the time to the to the dough to grow and then of course preparing the polish before 
you don't have to use uh, you don't you are not gonna give you're not gonna stay train hours like this you know just uh, the more polish you use the faster will grow there we go so let's make the dough then I'm gonna explain you a couple more things did you see how sticky it is I recently made a video about uh, how to make not sticky the dough so check that out too so I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil in your hands and then mix it up just like that just a little bit until everything is absorbed so basically doing this movement and uh, resting time right now we are building the gluten yes guys we are building the gluten why I use the polish and what's the benefit of using the polish first of all using the polish it's fast because now you don't gonna wait six hours to eight hours why because it's already the fermentation process is already active so the moment of leavened it's already passed so that is not gonna blow your stomach then that it's uh, the leavening timing is one to six hours six hours to 48 hours or whatever it's fermenting time so basically right now it's already fermented the dough so that means there is already proof let's say like that so that's why you don't need to wait too much time we just can wait one hour two hours because the relax because we just need the dough and then needs to relax so hopefully that was clear okay done the dough is ready for the first for the first rest now you'll see right now we're gonna wait 15 minutes to 20 minutes just like that okay go ahead and cover the dough and uh, let's wait about 15 to 20 minutes at room temperature and of course this one will uh, rest the, this resting time is very important for your uh, gluten it will become more strong you'll see in a little bit okay here you go guys 15 minutes pass by like you can see the dough is nice and relaxed so of course now the dough is uh, still cold so what we're gonna do here is detach the dough from the counter and now we're just gonna make another ball just like that easy and lightly like you can see the dough is becoming nice and smooth this process is really important to let it rest about 15 minutes see the dough is nice and smooth that means that the gluten is nice and grow so right now a little bit of olive oil tap 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 on top and we let it rest about 15 minutes more and then we are ready to make the balls okay there you go guys now we are ready to make the balls let's get ready boom 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 let's go ahead let's make the dough uh, the dough balls right now always keep the top part on top voila so I right now I already can tell you that the dough is nice and uh, uh, fermented so basically it's already proof but uh, basically I'm going to explain you when is going to be the right time the right point of uh, fermentation there we go like you can see 400 milligrams of water four balls 500 milligrams of water five balls this is how you calculate the, uh, the dough balls let's go ahead and place the dough inside the container so that's why I told you keep stay until follow the video until the end because this video is full of information so please guys share and leave a like because uh, um, because this one will really support the channel and the most important thing is the watch time so watch until the end try to uh, take your time and watch the full video because uh, also it's full of information full of free information if you want to be more professional you know i have a, I done an amazing master class you can check it out is masterclass dot uh, master line class dot pizza check it out because that's an amazing class is a to z how to make the best pizza at home and uh, in your business most most important is uh, if you want to open a pizza place or you want to become a, a pizza pro 
this is the perfect uh, masterclass for you. So I just say that because uh, some some of you might become a, uh, might want to open a play, uh, pizza place, so, you know, or become a pro. Go ahead and check out my class. Also link on uh, on below. So after this, like you can see, we made the balls. So pay attention to this, guys. Again, right now is really hot. So what we do is we wait around 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the fridge. Put it in the fridge will slow down, at this point, will slow down the fermentation because it's already fermented. But if you put the dough too early, it will block it. And that is gonna be a mess, it's not gonna grow. So wait 15, 20 minutes if it's at around 80 right now. Go ahead and block it in the fridge. If you're gonna say, oh wait, what about if it's cold? Because you're in Canada or you're in New York. So if it's cold, you have to put it in the warmer place of the room or put it in the oven with the light on and you know, the oven needs to be off. Light on, put it in the oven and keep it there for about one hour to two hours and the dough will be ready. Hopefully that was clear. Uh, so guys, uh, right now I'm gonna wait uh, I, I'm not in a rush, I'm, uh, so basically I want to wait uh, one hour, two hours, I'm going to go ahead and make the pizza. So I'm going to wait uh, until the dough grows. I'm not able to tell you the right time, but usually it takes one hour to two hours at this temperature. Because every time, every place, is, the room temperature is different, and you're going to say, oh, wait, you told me two hours, but it's taking longer, or it's taking, uh, in one hour was ready. Because the room temperature or was hot or was cold. I hope really from my heart that this one was clear to you, a UX. Show me, uh, leave a like if you think that this one, I, I was clear on this explanation and uh, you like this video. So let's wait around one hour to two hours and the dough is, gonna, is going to be ready and I'm going to show you the right point of fermentation or better, the right point to use the dough, uh, use the dough, the correct point to use the dough. So let's wait. Okay guys, right now it's been 30 minutes at room temperature. I can tell you right now it's already already about to become uh, to become at the point of fermentation, the right point to use the dough. So, so this is the point uh, that the dough needs to go in the fridge if you want to use it in about two, three hours or tonight. So like you can see almost touched together almost double up the side, not double exactly, but it uh, grow one time and uh, uh, a quarter. So this is the time that goes in the fridge. If you're gonna use it in two, three hours or four hours or even tonight, uh, right now is about uh, one o'clock, so <laughs> that's why. Uh, so let's pretend that we're gonna make pizza tonight. Go ahead, close it, put it in the fridge and tonight, 20 minutes before making the pizza, you take it out. Or let's say I'm gonna make the pizza in one hour like I'm doing. So what I do is I'm gonna keep it outside and just wait. This dough is gonna be good until for now. One hour to two hours is gonna be good. After two hours, it's gonna become overproof. If the dough will become uh, overproof, you go ahead and reball it and you're gonna be good. So let's wait and still I'm going to show you the point, the correct point of fermentation. The correct point to use the dough. The right point to use the dough. Let's go ahead. Smash that like. It's free. Let's go. And ready. Okay guys, so basically 30 minutes pass by and then complete the one hour, one hour, 30 minutes. Exactly one hour, 30 minutes, 80 right now. Outside is hot. Trust me, I'm just going from, I come from I'm outside. I'll show you a little bit in right now what I'm doing outside for the next video. So, uh, so boom, voila, guys. This is the right time, this is the right point of fermentation. The correct point when you're going to use, the, when you need to use the dough or just block it in the fridge. But at this point, like you can see, I want to explain to you, is basically double up the sides and you can see the dough is attached to uh, each other. So basically how you see that, how you see that the dough is ready. When you touch it, it needs to be full of air. So basically, if you do this, you see it's full of air and it's light. See, 
when you put it your finger, you're going to be able to uh, measure the dough of, uh, and feeling how much air is inside, and that's how it's going to be uh, ready. But most important, you're gonna see the little lightly bubble on top of the dough. That's when you press, you see this bubble, like this or this little small bubble, that means it shows that the dough is ready to be used. So hopefully that was clear and uh, guys, that was everything for, the, for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and make some pizza, special pizza with my friend outside. And uh, I'm, come with me, come with me one second. I'll show you, show you what we're gonna do here. Right, the light is gonna change now. So did you see, it's already hot. I had the air conditioner inside. But uh, look at this, we got everything fired up. Uh, something special is coming, so stay tuned. It's, uh, it's basically right here. <laughs> it's shiny. Look at this shirt. Look at this shirt. So guys, make sure you tune in. Thank you so much for uh, watching. Subscribe. Subscribe to the man of the house. Subscribe. Check his uh, channel right now really quick, just to give you an idea. What's the name? Eric for film. Eric for film, I'm gonna link it right there on the on below. Thank you so much guys for watching and hopefully this video was uh, clear to you. I love you all. Viva la pizza. Thank you so much for my sweet company. Ciao.